Welcome to my channel once again. My name is Jeanette and I'm a high vibrational being. I am intuitive. I am a high priestess. I am a healer. I am an earth angel. I am a galactic being. I am... I got baby next to me. And I also got... Athena with me, who is my spiritual owl, who is wisdom, who is knowledge, who is a spiritual warrior. So Athena is here. I keep her away from the dust and the dirt that is in this room because of the whatever chemicals they have placed in my room, everything turns turns black. Everything is black. It's just a constant it's dirty it's really uh anyway i'm very thankful and very grateful and those who have done this and everything else in here will reap their reap what they have sown so i'm not worried i'm very thankful so i'm calling in my father the most high to come into my vessel and help me channel this message for the collective today i am in i am a psychic I said that right oh for those who are new please don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel um, if you want to donate to my channel is there thank you for those who are my returning subscribers I wanted to start let me first call in my father to help me channel these messages I'm also calling in my my spiritual team I also um I call it in let me just say this before I start. Call upon all elemental spirits and ancient elders from all tribes. I ask that you infuse your power and insight into this channel for my highest good and for the highest good of all. So I call in my archangels, my ascended masters, my galactic family. I'm calling in all my deities my spirit animals, my spirit guides, my fairies, my dragons, my crystals. Crystals are healing. Crystals, you receive messages. You are connecting with uh, the element of earth. And if you are in connection to earth, fire, water, and air, you connect to the elements. And these elements are able to manifest whatever you want to manifest at the time. Can't speak too much because people take whatever I say and just um, use it or try to use it against me. But guess what? I always work with a pure heart with pure intentions. I never am here to hurt or harm an individual like evildoers have done to me. I am here for the highest good. I work with God. I do not work for man. I have to become aggressive now because, not even aggressive, it's just really standing in my power because of all the evil doings that you guys have done. Know that nothing that you've done has worked. And will never work. You know who I am. Don't play. You'll all get arrested. I wanted to start out with Ching. The I Ching. So I call in. Spirit to please give me one card for the I Ching. What is it? I Ching. It's number 51, which is 6, and I see 6 as um, balance, equal give and take.
51, sorry. Oh. Cauldron. I see that somebody's doing, trying to do magic. Somebody far away. There's darkness here. That's fire. Wood feeds fire and keeps it alive. Without this nourishment, the fire will soon die out. In the same way, people need spiritual substance to keep fire of human spirits alive. The cauldron is a holy vessel into which one places his or her life in as an offering to the divine. The house is also a structure of self, your stability, your mental mind. Such devotion leads to supreme good fortune. All good things proceed from the sacrifice. I see this card as also somebody sacrifice, try to sacrifice somebody. By using candle magic, fire, earth elements, which is the wood. Somebody could may try to burn a house or has burned a house. Somebody's Mental stability is not stable. That's also what I see. Is it's there's no no balance here. There's very gloomy, dark thoughts. What else? There? Six again. Wow, sixty. This is 60, which is the I Ching. Um, I forgot to give you the first one. Uh, sorry. 57 was the. 56 was the Wanderer. Somebody wandering. See, mind. Wandering mind. It's called the Lu. As fire on mountain and temporary influences as influencing somebody's mind somebody's thought somebody's doing uh, mind manipulation magic it goes right back to you whatever you put out into the universe is not gonna work whatever you put out I don't like injustice I do not like magic that is being thrown on the collective it's going right back to you Sixty is limitations. Water again, water above and lake below. Rain over the lake, respecting limits. The lake is defined by its limitations. Somebody try to limit somebody's mind. It is contained and infinite in its dimensions. Water above the lake is limitless. As rain may continue to fall along the lake boundaries, have flooded over. Kindness depends on its respecting the limitations of others. You need to respect people's minds. You need to respect people's boundaries. You need to step back and stop doing this magic. It's not working. Boundaries have flooded over kindness, depend on respecting the limits of others and not assuming they can handle whatever one pours forth. Civilization depends on respecting the limits and properties and social mores. Proceed with care. You need to proceed with care. Whatever you put out, you're going to get flooded. Your home is going to be on fire. Whatever you put out to the mental madness of the collective, whatever you put out is returning back to you. Back to you. 
There's two houses. There's mental. That's the stability of people's minds. And your mental mind is unstable. Putting all this work out into the collective, out into divine beings. You are going to reap what you have sown. There's a second reading that I do that this energy is popping out. You know why? Because everything that is being put out into the universe at this time is being sent back to the center. There's, we are in Mercury retrograde. There's a lot of planets uh, in retrograde. This has been going on since um, Saturn return. Since Saturn return. Everything is being returned back to its sender. But are you plotting? You guys keep, keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. It's not working. It's not working. God is protecting his people. Number 61 is inner truth. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Inner truth. The wind, whatever you put out, that's air. Whatever you put out, air, the truth. And water is the lake. Wind ruffles the still surface of the lake, breaking up the reflection of the sky. Whatever it's put out, it will break. It will break. That's truth is separated from illusions. The truth is coming out. There will be no illusions. You cannot place illusions on the collective. The lake is not heavy. It's not heaven after all. The death holds their own truth, which must be explored by going beneath the surface. The wise person does not fear or stir the deep waters in search of inner truth. A life of illusion cannot be maintained forever. You guys try to hide your secrets. Try to hide. It's resurfacing. It's coming to the light. Okay? And this uh, is the... The name of this chain is... In the truth, with this chung fu, chung fu, chung fu, okay, chung fu, and that's the truth. Your secrets are expo are ex are exposed. One more card from the I Ching. Thank you, Spirit. I Ching is another six, six, six. Oh my God, we have four sixes here. Four sixes. This is number 15. Wow. Modesty. Earth. Earth above, mountains below. The image of the mountain concealed with the earth symbolizes something bigger and more powerful than is revealed on the surface. Something more powerful is going to be revealed about you people doing all this okay it's going to be revealed trying to manipulate the minds of people through your magic it's not gonna happen the superior person works quietly and does not speak does not seek acclaim a good leader does not boast of victorious but moves steadily forward with quiet and with quite confidence such modesty brings great respect and success a great leader does not boast about their riches their accomplishments they just go about life Peaceful. Not exploiting people. Not hurting people. Not hurting the collective. So you wasn't a true leader. 
You wasn't a true leader. You did things that was not for the highest good. You tried to build false foundations on the collective through magic. This is what I'm receiving. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm channeling. This message may not be for everybody, but know that this is a collective message and you know who you are. All leaders who have not done things that are not for the highest good, those who thought they were leaders, those who have businesses that used their business for false foundations, for, for scamming people, your business is going to You know what is happening to your business. You know exactly what's going on in 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 your in your company with your workers, with yourself, with the scamming, the fraudulence, the sex trafficking. I want to choose one more because this is very I like the I Ching. One more spirit. Six 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 four six came up, and this is number eighteen. I see darkness. I see. I see wind, which is wind is our message. Is how we speak. It's the communication. Whatever we're putting out into the universe. It is also a storm. Number 18, which is Ku in China, I think we're, I don't know, Chinese. It's a work on what has been spoiled. Above we have the mountains, below we have the winds. Wind blows against the mountain, repair is needed. There is healing that needs to be done within our planet. Within ourselves, within our system, within our own bodies. We need to be very mindful of what we put out into the universe. Wind blowing against the base of the mountain can cause much damage. There is no place for the wind to go as the mountain is unmovable, immovable. Thus trees and dwelling places are ruined. There's going to be a, a storm. There's going to be a big storm. And people are not able to get out this is what I'm receiving this is the message that God is sending it's channeling he is saying that there's going to be a, a big storm where people are not going to be able to get out in such case, there is nothing to be done but repair what has been spoiled. So things need to be broken down in order to be repaired. People, there's things that are not for our highest good, that or people that are not for the highest good, that have to leave in order for things to be repaired. I am only the messenger. Working carefully to avoid weakness and vulnerabilities this time we have to work together in order to rebuild you have used the vulnerable people to your advantage and that is not going to happen anymore Whew. thank you I Ching. thank you for your messages oh my god this is couldn't get no better than this. It goes along with the first reading. Let me see what else. What I also.
Okay, sorry. I'm going to go use, I'm going, Isis. I'm going to, um, the message Isis, Mother Gaia, Mother Earth wants to say the truth, the magician, the mother of mothers, Isis. I call upon your energy. Thank you. The truth unveiled. Thank you. Oh my God. The truth is unveiled. Nothing is hidden. There's a jackal here. There is a time when appearances of people, place, and things are deceptive. Thank you. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings of anxiety and doubt within you. You may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. Trust what you feel and not what appears to be. I am trusting. You need to trust yourself. Whatever you are seeing, whatever you are feeling, whoever you are around with, whatever doesn't make you comfortable, know that the truth is being unveiled. What else, Isis? The truth is being unveiled and people's mask is being taken off. This person, woman had this mask on, is off her face now. Cartoach, cart choose to release which would lower your vibration into fear. Come back to love and stay true to yourself and you shall inspire others to think or speak more positively when they are around you. Evoking the power of speech and words for your strength, protection, and spiritual growth will work effectively for you. Do not fear anything or anyone. You are able to invoke protection with your words from a space of, a, of your heart. I am strong, I am beautiful, I am powerful. I am calling upon the angels and aren't angels to protect me from all evil. I command that all evil do not disturb my inner peace, my space. And that evil will be released. No evil can come close to you unless you allow it. Do not fear anything or anyone. Because that's what they're trying to do and guess what? It's not working. Stay true and be in your own power. You are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within. Do not, you do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose. This is your divine birthright. Guard it as the precious treasure that is and remember that you are a divine being free to be you. Don't ever feel that you are trapped. Free yourself from all illusions. Do not ever think anybody has any power over you because they don't. Find your sovereign being. You are a sovereign being of the divine. We are God's children. We are not here to be manipulated by no system. This is so powerful. I just love the messages. Serpent of Fire, do not assess your current ability based on past standards as they no longer apply to you. You are stronger and more powerful than you have been before. You need to learn 
afresh what you are capable of and Isis helps you now. She's here to help you find your power, find your magic, know your birthright. These are spirits that are here at this moment and they are not going to ever bow down ever again. Never, never. We take our birthrights back. We're gonna take our lands back. We're gonna take our properties back. And you need to release all of our ancestors' lands. Okay? Back. And their divine tools that was left in the tombs. Secrets ain't secrets. Spirit of Isis, she is here. The Divine Feminine is here. Beloved, initiate. There are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspire action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. Let her inspire you. Believe. Believe anything is possible. Believe anything is possible. Isis is here. She's coming out. Her energy, her spirit is here. She's within my vessel to let you know, do not bow down to no man. Do not bow down to no system. Do not be afraid to speak who you are. Do not be afraid to release yourself from something that is not for your highest good. That's not, that is not of God, the most high. Past life power, she's here again. As the soul grows in service to the great feminine and her intention that all beings be healed and free, it rather it gathers eternal resources to assist on the path. These resources include powers and gifts from our lifetimes, from other lifetimes. You are currently initiating, integrating past life abilities. Be open to what is taking place as your soul awakens ancient powers and ability in you. You are invoking your ancient powers that are within you. Let, those, let that power stand firm for your ancestors and your guys are always protecting you. Do not fear in man. Fear is nothing but an illusion. We have been, we have been enslaved for too long and that is no longer going to happen. Freedom. We are freeing ourselves from this matrix. No more illusions. No more captivating. No more human sacrificing. No more sex trafficking. No more, uh, killing our animals, no more hurting our planet, no more. The divine sun child is here. Oh my God, I feel like crying. Ancestors are here. Blessings of the sun flow to you now. It's time to follow. It's time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to let your light burn bright and without evil, without veil, and I said without evil, not a mistake, just like the Miss, Miss Drummer, sun burning without contest in the Egyptian desert, it is time to shine bright, shine your light, speak your truth, be empowering, and always, always speak from a space of love. Never speak from a space of hurt, pain. Our ancestors is here. We are free. We are going to be free. 
We are free. Power over seven scorpions. I am initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces. You vibrational forces, it's no longer. Through your own will and spoken words, you are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. Forgive those. I forgive them. I have compassion for these low forces energy. For they were a mirror of who I was. And I'm very thankful for clearing out all those dark energies, balancing them out and releasing and letting go and not holding on to these energies. Know that you are strong. Know that you are powerful. Know that you are able to achieve. You are a light being of the Most High. You are a spark of the Divine, the Father, the Most High. <laughs> okay. Eyes of Horus. The Eyes of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that is that are awakening and growing. Now, you have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gift. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. Oh my God, thank you, Horus. Horus is here. He is guiding you, he is your eyes. The brother in darkness. Whenever negative energies is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power you shall overcome any negative energies and grace and triumph stay in your heart there is no need to be afraid once again the heart and fear find balance within yourself don't never be afraid of anything oh did i i think that's i did that home oh. Say one more. Okay. So retrieval. Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval. Reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power. So you will be willing to go through the healing process knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to the wholeness you are i know when i was doing my soul retrieval i lost many pieces of myself out into different parts even in past lives so i had to re i had to retrieve all these um parts of me in order to become a a beautiful soul, a beautiful heart, no longer in a world of darkness, healing from the past trauma, rebuilding myself up again. I had to break myself down in order to rebuild myself back up again. I speak only from experience. I don't speak from just reading. I went through the soul retrieval. I healed trauma and you're going through this at this moment know you're, that you are strong and you are being initiated and you have to go through these tests in order to continue to raise your level of consciousness to reach that higher Christ consciousness wow one more this is beautiful wow this is beautiful a beautiful read Oh, thank you, Spirit. Wow. High Priestess, 
a mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for all, for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for the perp and for what purpose. People are awake. People have already passed their initiations. They are going to a higher, a much higher level. This is the message I'm receiving. And you are, and the high priestess is here to unveil all secrets and truth and healing and the power that you have within yourself that you are able to overcome everything that you are facing at this time. We have to go through the darkness in order to come to the light. It's like a flower we plant it in the ground. It starts off as a seed. It has to bear roots. It has to build itself up strong and then it will flourish its fruits and its labor. I love you all. Thank you for your blessings. This is the message that I have from the I Ching and Isis. Many are waking up. Many Many are healing. Many are going through their initiations. You are a beautiful being of the divine. You are powerful. You are glorious. You are beautiful. You are able to shine. You are able to create. You are healing. Forgive yourself and forgive all who have hurt you. Release your shadows into the light. Transmute it into love and say thank you for the lessons. I love you all. Namaste. Have a blessed day. I'll be back with another reading. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to donate, you may do so. Please understand that I am not doing personal readings. Never have. There are people posing with my in, with my photos and so much. <laughs> it's just a lot. And I'm just, you know what? I'm thankful. We have to go through these lessons and learn. And I'm very, very thankful. And thanks to my ancestors and my guides. And I close out. Bless, bless to all.